Alright. Here we go. Kind of. Oh, well, hi. It's been a long time. For me. I know, I, I, what do I even say? It's been a long time because I did like a batch video. I just did a ton of them. All at once. And then like slowly release them over time. So this is actually the first video I've recorded. And I kind of got overwhelmed. I like spent days editing those videos like all at once because just to bash them together is mentally quicker. So this is the first video I have recorded in a mighty time. Anyways, I'm wearing cool shoes. I haven't worn these in a very long time. Uh, they're Vifo barefoot shoes. I haven't worn them very much because I don't like them. But I'm wearing them because they look cool and they're suede. People tell me they look like moccasins and then I started thinking they look like moccasins so they kind of look comfortable. Not that comfortable. So I'm wearing them for the first time as well in five months. We'll say five months. I just wanted to get on here and talk about music that I'm making for the future. By the way, check out that set, bro. Behind me, the angles, they're all like... I have a red light over here. You can kind of see that glow. I have a regular light over here. You can see that shadow. Anyways, I wanted to talk about music that I produced this year and music that I produced last year and the music I produced the year before that. I just kind of want to do a 2021 recap, which isn't what I just said, but that's what I want to do. I want to talk about the music I made last year, what inspired it, <laughs> what brought it about, uh, which is the same thing as meaning what inspired it. Sometimes you say the same words just because you're searching for them and it's... <sighs> I was inspired last year to make songs from taking a course by Ryan Tedder on, it's called a monthly course, I highly advise. I'd suggest if you want to learn things, then take online courses because they get right to the point, they cut to the chase, they scramble to the road and they get you out of the way of the cars and you cross the road okay, especially if you're in shape. Anyways, I made songs last year and I like two of them. I, I liked one of them, I didn't like the other two. And I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the three songs that I personally made. I helped with other projects, tons of other things. It's crazy what you can do. And I'm so excited for this year because I learned so much from last year and especially on vocals. I just want to say quickly, 2020 is when I worked on just instrumental stuff. 2021, I really focused on vocals. And I really did that by making three vocal songs for myself and real and helping with other songs but really like just trying to understand what in the world is going on with vocals they're like the most important part everything blah 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 and now I feel like I've learned a lot from that and I want to really start like making good music like stuff that I'm really proud of because the music that I made last year I loved but uh, I didn't put my heart and soul into it I worked really hard on them but what I mean by that is I don't feel like those songs were songs that I could take and sing and perform or whatever. I feel like I could have given those songs off to someone else be like, hey, does this song relate to you? Like, they just didn't feel like they fit for me. I'm still going to keep them up. They'll still be there. They were just like kind of the month's projects, just like a learning process. And I, I loved working on them. I learned a lot from working on them. Now. I have some songs I'm working on and they like feel like, wow, this is really, like I agree with these songs so much more. Their style, the way they're produced. I love trap music, but I just, for some reason I can't get myself to like, be like, oh yeah, I fit within a trap drum beat. And maybe it's just the way that it was done. I just, I just don't think that that's something that's going to, I'm going to be working on as much. That's something that I'll be making for other people like making a trap song be like wow this is so cool I love it and I think that person over there like I have a friend who's like a rapper or like would fit more in that style like I'll pitch it to him that'd be awesome that's what I want to do more this year yeah I wanted to say the one song that I did like was uh, maybe that's also one of the songs that I want to say didn't I just didn't feel like it got as much as could have been and maybe like maybe especially like it was also the first song I released like with my lyrics in it after the months project and I learned from the months project that when you start something everyone listens to it like they go they listen to it 
you know, you get a lot of response from it. The second time you do something, you get a little less, and a little less, and a little less, until maybe five, like five months into the month's project, it like finally steadied out. I got like a consistent amount of views um, instead of the first month's project got like a bunch of views and then it went down and went down and down and down Consist got consistent. So I feel like that's that could be the same thing here. Yeah, so I have a couple songs lined up that I'm working on right now really psyched about them um, But I also don't want to rush through them like I did the last Last year I feel like I kind of rushed I kind of like could have waited like two days to get a clearer mind and be like Okay, like I could make that better and it'd work out more, but I didn't. And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna treat this more like the month's project and just release it. It's gonna be a learning process. I wanna move on. I love that too. I love that. And the month's project really taught me that, <laughs> whether the song was good or bad. And, and a lot of people also really like the month's project. That was kind of surprising to me because I, I kind of went through them so quickly making a song a month. I don't know, it may sound like pretty dual, but like I was, it was pretty pretty intense to like do that and then even with life happening in July it got really hard anyways August July before then June anyways I just wanted to get on here and say that my music is gonna be a little bit different it will be more chill I love catchy lyrics though and so I want to I want to mesh in some catchy lyrics with a more chill beat maybe a slower tempo something like that Anyways, I just wanted to say that. I'm trying to think if there are other things that I want to say. I got nothing, but I might have something. I might have something to say in a second. So that's all. Just wanted to say I'm excited for songs that are coming up in the near future, hopefully spring. And I'm excited to hear what you guys think about them. And most of all, I'm excited to make something that I'm proud of and something that is really like I relate to this song, I have a personal experience or a really emotional connection to an idea in the song that I can 100% relate to. And all other songs, I still write other songs that I'm like, ah, this does not fit me. Those songs go into a separate folder on my computer and they're for pitching. I will be thinking of other people. That's one of the big things I want to do this year as well. That's probably something I want to remember. Um, one of the big things is that I'm going to be pitching more songs to people who I think the songs would fit because they definitely don't fit me and I'm, I'm tired of making songs that I don't feel are cohesive, 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 adhesive, adhesive, cohesive with my personality and with just how I like music and how I like the feel and the vibe, the chill vibe. Anyways, I'd love to talk more about my TV song, the Maybe song. That was such a surprise. I could talk about it right now, but I'm not going to. I'll put it on my list. Do more videos like this, where I'm just talking about these things, just, and maybe be more scripted, have some ideas. Those cut, those editing cuts really, <laughs> they really help with the scripting side of things, because you can cut as much crap as you need to, and it's still okay. I think that's all. I'm looking forward to to uh, working on my music. I actually was just in bed today. I have I always have this recorder next to my bed to record ideas, dreams, rarely dreams anymore. So we have videos coming up that I'm just thinking about now. Maybe TV. The other one could have been. Um, those would be some fun videos to make just in this sitting atmosphere instead of kind of a more intense thing in my computer with all the different elements. It's just. It's just easier, because I'm not creating any... I don't want to take up too much of your time, okay? So, I'm gonna end it right here, if you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, just have a good day, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to this year. Really am. Looking forward to sharing things with you guys. Most of all, I'm looking forward to these songs to be more, like, positive and uplifting, and, like, actually helping you, as songs have always done for me. I think you'll even cry. Yes, I said cry. I think he will shed a couple tears on one of the songs. I, I I know I would, and I did when I made the song, but that story comes later. You're gonna need to wait for that one when I record the, I have a video plan now, four more videos. That's exciting, and I have the energy to do it, and I could add a video on just about the energy part, because that has sucked over this whole beginning of this year. Anyways, I gotta end it now, and I don't know how to end it, so just bye.